So let's see if I, I think I got it to work. Okay. So here's the first one. All right. So this is someone asking if he can destroy the universe. He says, even so, I feel that it is impossible to destroy the infinitely large universe, even with the power of Broly. Um, so that's that's an interesting statement because as we talked about yesterday, Koyama Koyama thinks that Broly is stronger than the Z anime. So he doesn't think anyone in the Z anime can destroy the universe either. Um, so that's that statement. But he went, he actually went deeper into it. He actually went deeper into it. Hold on. So he then said, someone then asked, Broly has the power to destroy the universe, but God has not given him the authority. Which is psycho. He was in chat. Um, and then Koyama responds with, I think you are right. <laughs> I think you are right. So, <laughs> Broly has the power to destroy the universe, but God doesn't let him, right? And he says, yeah, I think you're right. Even so, I feel that it is impossible to destroy the large universe. <laughs> so, the only thing... Okay. So here's an alternate interpretation to this, okay? Here's an alternate interpretation. An alternate interpretation is that... Koyama... He he says great universe. So if you look at the kanji of what he says... A lot of the time he says great universe or macrocosm. So... This guy here is asking just for the universe. And he's like, yeah, he, I think he can destroy the universe. And then Koyama says the infinitely large universe. But whenever it's translated, Koyama says macrocosm. So maybe it means Broly can't destroy the macrocosm, but he can destroy just the normal universe. But he goes into more detail. Because then he says... Then he says this. Then he says... This is in response to someone asking how... Okay, how long could Broly... Would it take for him to destroy the universe? And he says... It won't be easy for a cosmic opponent, if possible... Wouldn't it be months? Not instantaneously. And less than a year. So he thinks that Broly would destroy the macrocosm in a few months. Um, so... I get... This basically just means that... It, it depends on how you... How you... What, what you think. Yeah, so if it says macrocosm, that's even better. So, basically, you could... St you can still argue that Broly is universal... But you can't argue he can destroy the macrocosm, if that makes sense. If anything, it seems to imply he actually thinks Broly is universal, um, and it's not macrocosm level. But um, the other statement, too, that we had that was cool is that we got confirmation that he thinks he can one-tap a galaxy. So he can one-tap a galaxy, um, and... God just wouldn't let him. So we don't, we don't know if God... Like, we don't know if God can, who that is, or if God is Koyama, or whatever it is. Um, so, we have no idea. And once again, by Broly has the power to destroy the universe, this statement as well is kind of like, is Koyama thinking he means in one shot again? You know, what's going through Koyama's brain? Because cause Koyama's like, mm, these like instantaneous things, like... Wouldn't it be over time? Doesn't Broly, like, do it over time? Or, you know, so who knows if he really means in one tap? Because this guy... The problem with Psycho's question is that Psycho's doesn't say in one shot. He just says, destroy the universe. So, unfortunately, Psycho's question is not specifically worded. But there, it's possible. The universal Broly thing is possible. Um... 
definitely not macrocosm level though so you guys take that with how you will um and yeah so you have to consider that so what do you guys think do you think broly's one tapping the universe do you think koyama thinks he met over time or just in general uh and yeah Even even in the most downplayed, okay, even in the most downplayed interpretation of Broly, though, at least in the most, can a highball Broly destroy the macrocosm? No. No. No, he can't. He cannot. Um, he also said some contradictory things about, like, Broly versus uh, other movie characters, but I think he's just trying not to get into debates anymore because of what he said about Boo, but... Um, you, I'd, I'd have to go into that in a separate one. Broly Wars 2 kind of shit. But, yeah, he's, he's been saying some weird power scaling statements, but, yeah. Higher dimension can be literal. Yeah, that, that's what I said as well, Taurus. I said that as well. I was like, yeah. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did say that he thinks that, like, uh, Boo, um, he thinks Broly is stronger than Boo. But he, th he doesn't think that Boo is, like... What's the way to word it? He doesn't think that, like... If, okay, so if Broly is universal, he doesn't think that Boo is just, like, galaxy level. You know what I mean? He thinks that Boo is at least, like, high multi-galaxy or, or some shit like that. You know what I mean? At least. Um, so, yeah, it depends. So, Taurus, this was the other weird thing. I, I, was, talking, I was talking to Typhos about this. And he, it was interesting because he said... The gap between Broly and Boo is slight, but he thinks that Broly is stronger than Vegito. <laughs> so I'm just like, does that mean the gap between Vegito and Buhan is slight? <laughs> that's so that's so funny. <laughs> he thinks that the difference between Buhan and Vegito is slight. <laughs> Did he say Broly is universal? Potentially. Potentially. It's a, it's a coin flip. It's a coin flip. And maybe maybe if we got someone to clarify what he meant by that, but it's so hard getting him to answer it. It's so hard to get him to answer the questions. It's so difficult. Because he's so... He's, like, so roundabout. It's so roundabout for him. I saw the Janemba statement... With the Janemba statement, it's weird because it seems like he's just trying to, like, he's just like, hey, oh, go check the net. <laughs> he's like, go, ch go check the net. <laughs> Maybe the situational battle is that uh, Broly, like, underestimates Janemba <laughs> and then gets one shot. Because I don't know, I don't know how to make it. I don't even know what the fuck the net is. Yeah, what's the net? <laughs> Can you DM it to me? I want to see what the net is. I think I saw, like, the, the Boo one, but I don't know what the net is. Um, hi, Seth. How are you on this fine day, Mr. Muscles? Hope you have a loads of fun today. Thank you. I have lots of work to do today, so probably not that fun. Gonna hit the gym. And that's about it. Hit the gym and then write some fucking Namek Frieza Saga shit. Gonna be fun. Yeah, no, no, I know, yeah. Like, uh, that's why, dude, I felt bad for Koyama because everyone was, like, harassing him. So I was just like, oh, Koyama, I love your work. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for your time. Because <laughs> no one was just being supportive of him. You know what I mean? So I felt kind of fucking bad. I felt really bad. But yeah, these statements are pretty interesting. No, Broly is prob is not above GT. Okay, the, the GT versus Broly argument was just like a meme thing. Because at the end of the day, Koyama was not a part of GT. So, it's kind of weird for him to say that. Um, 
And as you can tell by Koyama's own messages, he doesn't like to, like, claim knowledge on things he's not a part of. So he, like, even if you show him the manga, he's like, sorry, I don't, I don't work on the manga. No comment. Even if that manga scene's in the anime, he's like, nope, no comment. I didn't work on the manga. So he's really particular about only saying things about things he's a part of. So, yeah, the GT argument, there, there's just no way. There's no way. Even he himself just said no. Um Okay, so another another weird thing too is that he thinks that Here's another weird here's another weird thing I was just thinking about. These statements don't really make a lot of sense either when I was just thinking about it. So he says, "Okay, I think this actually might mean Okay, this might mean that Broly's not universal." Let me point this out. So he says, even so, I feel that it is impossible to destroy the infinitely large universe, even with Broly. He then says, wouldn't it, if possible, if possible, wouldn't it be months, not moments, or less than a year? So he feels that it's impossible, but if possible, it would take time? I don't know, I need to, I need to get this translated. I'm going to get these translated a bit better. Because that seems to think he thinks it's impossible. But if possible, it would take time. So, I don't know. Hope Maybe it's just like the, the, the Google Translate. But, I'll work on that after the stream, I think. Try to get that figured out. Um, no, he, he never really answered too much. He only answered that about a galaxy. He said he can one shot a galaxy. The website he cites is some random fan. <laughs> Dude, that's like some fucking, um, that's like some Toriyama, like, that's like that fucking screenshot of Toriyama being like, Oh, I set the program as an authority on Dragon Ball. It's just like empowering him. Yeah, but Koyama has no authority over fucking uh, Super, so you can't give him that authority. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of a a weird. I guess it just kind of gives you more tools to argue with if you want to be a cunt. <laughs> Yeah, this whole thing is, this whole thing is just weird. Let me talk to some translators real quick. <laughs> what did he say to the anime scan? Yeah, he doesn't. He can't make statements about Super. But even then, he felt like Battle of Gods Beerus was stronger. <laughs> Some dumbass screenwriter, bro. <laughs> Fucking Chad Koyama. God damn it. The problem with infinite is that infinite is a debatable statement. Right? Like, why do we- why can we only get people like Koyama? Like, where's fucking Toriyama or Kishimoto or some shit on Twitter? What happened to those eras? What happened to this picture here? I'd love to ask Kishimoto some fucking bullshit. Yeah, because the the translated 
because the translated uh, statements of Koyama contradict each other. Because one says, but it seems like he seems to think Broly can't destroy the universe or the macrocosm. But then he's like, oh, uh, over time, if possible, it would take this amount of time. So it's like, is it impossible or is it possible, bro? So I'm hoping we, if we a trans a good translation will kind of shed some light on what he means, or maybe he's just like talking out of his ass. Like who knows? Yeah, I don't fuck I don't fuck with Toyotaro though. I don't care about him. Toyotaro is just Toriyama's lapdog. 